Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is Apostle Fabian. And I want to come to you briefly with just a small word of exhortation of applying pressure. I was in prayer, and as I was meditating on the Word of God and meditating on the things of God, I just heard the Spirit of God telling me applying pressure with fasting will remove many obstacles in the lives of God's people. Let me say that again. The Spirit of God spake unto me, and he said, applying pressure with fasting will remove a lot of obstacles that are in the lives of God's people. Let us not forget. Let us be encouraged. Paul said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness, and the spiritual host of wickedness in heavenly places. So that means that as we are at warfare with the, the forces of darkness and the, 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 the kingdom of Satan, they are also at warfare with us. And what do they know uh, from observation? Uh, what hinders the child of God? They know their, their war is not with the people of the world. Their war is specifically with the children of God. And they know, the, the, the enemy knows, because these are spirit beings that has dealt with God. They, 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 they have been dealing with God ever since before the creation of the earth. Uh, and they've been dealing with God uh, since God uh, implemented the earth or created the earth and put man upon it. So the demons understand that men uh, are in control on the planet, that, that men, the children of men, are... Uh, uh, bears the responsibility to align uh, the planet with the will of God. They understand that. So their war is not with God. They're not fighting God. They're not coming up against the angels. Their war uh, is against the humans uh, that God has created and that God has brought forth. So through sicknesses and diseases, they have done everything that they can to weaken uh, man's authority and weaken man's power. But thank God for Jesus. I said, thank God for Jesus, because now when Jesus come on the scene, when he come on the scene, he, he manifested, I don't want to use that word manifest, he revealed, he revealed something from the plan of God that sent the kingdom of darkness into a turmoil. It was something that they had never seen before. It was, it, they were encountering a person uh, that they had never encountered before. And, and what was that? That was a man operating in a level and a realm of power that healed the sick, that casted out devils, uh, that cast him out, uh, uh, that caused the blind to see, that caused the lame to walk. People that were born paralytic, that were born paralyzed, never walked in their lives people with diseases running all through their bodies. There was a man here, there was a man that come from God that was literally alleviating people from this pain, alleviating people from this torture, alleviating people from these diseases that, that baffled them. Now what really threw them for a loop is when they heard Jesus said, listen, the works that I do shall you do also. And greater works than these shall you do, because I go back to the Father. Man, that caused the enemy to turn his table up and everything in the kingdom of darkness, because now what he, they have, the, the information that they have gotten is that what Jesus done done is now being applied to these humans. So now they can fight back. Now they can get to victory. Now they can enter into our kingdom. They can enter into our domain and they can take souls. They can cast out sicknesses. They can cause people that was lame to walk we can't let them do that so what they begin to do is apply pressure to the believer yeah they, they, they apply pressure to you they're coming after us from different ways and we're praying and looking like the prayer is not going through we're proclaiming the word and it looks like the word is not going through apply more pressure apply the pressure of prayer with fasting why when they brought the demonic child to Jesus, they first the man brought him to the disciples, and the disciples could not cast him out. And so they asked Jesus, Lord, I brought, I brought my child to your disciples, and they could not cast him out. 
And so then, you know the story. Jesus brought the boy to me and said, because of your unbelief. He always addresses unbelief. That's that's primary. Uh, but then the, 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 the disciples, the, 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 the followers of God, the, the, those that have become children of God, uh, when they saw Jesus made this thing go, they asked him why he was by himself and said, Lord, why could not we cast him out? Be because you told us we could. You, you, you gave us power and authority that we could. You, 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 you told us that we could do this. Why did this thing not move? And Jesus then told him, said, because of your unbelief. I don't want to get in that. That's a whole teaching altogether. But he said, how be it this kind can come forth by nothing. Listen, nothing means nothing. When Jesus said nothing, he means nothing. For this kind can come forth by nothing, but by prayer and fasting. Nothing means nothing. So that means there are certain situations that will not bow to the proclaiming of the word. There are certain situations that will not bow to just praying. There are certain situations that will not bow with proclamation and praying. But Jesus said, it will bow with prayer and fasting. Did you catch that? With prayer and fasting. So with that being said, if there is any pressure, I mean, if there's anything that is hindering you from getting the breakthrough that you need from God, that thing that has been dogging you for years, that, that thing that you're trying to get to move and it just won't move, whether it be a sickness, a disease, uh, finances, apply the pressure of fasting and watch God move in a real way. Watch God move in a real way. And what's going to happen is the enemy is going to be on alert that they have gotten another Christian who will fast and pray that is applying pressure against the kingdom of darkness. So now, if you apply pressure and you get a testimony, please mark it down. Please share it. Put the comment down so I can see that if you do what is being encouraged to you to do, because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of Christians walking defeated and, and not get to victory. These things are supposed to bow to us because we have authority as the children of God. We have the kingdom. It's ours. And it's the Father's pleasure to give it to us. So in Jesus' name, apply pressure and get your breakthrough. God bless you. I'll see you again soon.